everybody welcome to my channel I am Iris Seriani and I want to talk to you today about trust and uh, when it comes to trusting in relationships trusting that you're gonna make a better choice um, for your next relationship trusting yourself that you're not gonna attract that same type that you've always attracted so the emotionally unavailable people the people that cheat on you the people that give you nuggets of what you need but then just never enough to drive it home so they just give you a little bit but not everything that you need people that are half in half out unreliable that that type of thing and I think to to a certain degree I think that we all can have those tendencies within us depending on where we are in in our lives and but really for the people that are struggling to find their ideal partner I think trust has a lot to do with why people are, are are so challenged so why what what's this thing about trust then so everything we learned about relationships we learn from a very young age and we have an attachment type associated to what we learn so although I'm not going to talk about attachment types in this video I am going to talk about the experiences and the types of relationship that we have had with people that were supportive of the experiences and what we've learned when when we we were young so it kind of follows us through our entire life and then we call in these people to teach us how to overcome those um, beliefs that we have had from a very young age but we actually get stuck in those relationships and then we get stuck in the patterns of having those same types of relationship and it builds mistrust and oftentimes I hear people say I always attract people that aren't trustworthy and that it's not so much that they are not trustworthy it's that you don't trust yourself to choose somebody else that is trustworthy and the trust is is tied to how you feel about yourself, your self-worth and what you feel you are deserving of. I know so many people who have their bar set so low when it comes to being in relationships and really that has to do with your own self-worth and what you feel you are deserving of. So if you want a relationship that is connected and um, emotionally has has depth to it somebody that you can trust somebody that you can have a lot of fun with somebody that gives you a lot of freedom if that's what you need in your relationship as well somebody that you can plan a life with and that person is solid in your life whatever your values happen to be for relationships you can have all of that, but a lot of people don't even think that that's even a possibility for them just because they haven't had it before. And they think, well, you know, this is the only thing that I've ever had, so it must not, you know, I doubt that it even exists. And, and you know, so why bother? I may as well keep my bar low. So really, your the level of your trust that you have for yourself and the level at which you have the self-confidence in yourself that you can be with somebody exactly like who you want to be with, they're very tied together. And really trust comes from the inside out because I'll tell you that when you trust yourself to, to notice and pay attention to the yellow and red flags when you first meet somebody, when you listen to your intuition, if you listen to your intuition, you are going to already get a sense of, yeah, you know, I'm not really liking this person, right? But so often we don't trust ourselves and we think, well, maybe, you know, he's good for now or she is good for now, so I'll just go with it. 
and but it's not really what you want and so you go with it and then you end up being in a relationship with that person and it's riddled with all kinds of problems and complications and then you go through the heartache and pain of leaving that relation because you just can't take it anymore so really what relationships are all about and why i want to talk about trust today is because you have to trust yourself you first of all you have to believe in yourself that what you want um is available to you raise your bar and raise your your standards know what it is that is important to you in a relationship I bet you dollars to donuts that it's not important for you to have a relationship that is not trustworthy or where somebody's not there for you or is always criticizing you, right? That's not one of your values. So what are one of your values, one or two of your values that's really important to you? What do you want that will feed your soul and satisfy you in that terms of having that connection with somebody? So your values, what is it that you value? And then have a look at the stories that you've been telling yourself. Because I know a lot of people say, you know, I am, I'm too old to attract somebody. You know, I'm in my, in my 50s and, you know, I've never had this before. I want it. I've never had it. I doubt that it even exists. So why bother trying? I think I'll just find um, comfort within myself and, you know, just have cats and dogs. And you know what? There are some people who legitimately are in a place in their life where they're not even interested in a relationship. And that is totally cool. But if you want to be in a relationship and that's kind of burning in your in your heart as something that you want, then define for yourself what your values are and have a look at the stories that you have been telling yourself. Your stories that you've been dragging around about the type of relationships that you have, and they always start with, I always. So anywhere that you're saying to yourself, I always, that is a story that you have. Have a look at that story. And I bet you, if you look back at where that all started, it probably started, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago ago that you had that one experience and it turned out really crappy and then you left that experience and it was really painful and really hurtful but then you wanted to have somebody to be there for you and be there with you so you were in a low state you weren't feeling really super good about yourself so what do you do you end up attracting somebody else that was just like the other person they just had a different name and had a different face but it ended up the same so that is where the story of I always comes in. So have a look at that. And what happened in your past belongs in your past. It is January 2019. And it is truly time to leave things that happened in the past in the in the past and start creating a new story for yourself about who you are, and what you deserve and the type of people and experiences that you want to have in your life. And what happens when you do those two things, so identify what your values are and identify what your story is and make the conscious decision and effort to pay attention and be aware when you are recycling those old stories and just say, you know, that was who I was 5, 10, 15 years ago. That's not who I am today. I have evolved and I've changed and I'm writing a new story. You might not even know what your story is just yet because you've never had the experience for the new story. But if you focus on your values and what's important to you and what you want to have in terms of a good relationship, you will start to create your new stories and your new beliefs. So back to trust. How does this all wrap in to trust? When you raise your bar, you start to be more discerning about the people that you let into your life. So now all of a sudden, because you've raised your bar, you're also more aware of the yellow and red flags. And you're not going to have the tendency to do it anyways, even though you know in your heart of hearts, this is not going to be good. Because if you're looking for a long-term relationship, committed relationship, something very connected, Mr. or Mrs. Miss, Mr. Ms. <laughs> right now isn't going to isn't going to cut it. 
don't don't settle if you want something really spectacular do not settle make yourself available have the experiences go on the dates do the thing hang out whatever it is you want to do but as soon as you get that yellow or, or red flag you know what notice it notice what your values are notice what you want and say you know no thanks I'm going to pass it by and keep on going. That's how you start to build trust in yourself and in the decisions and choices that you make. So I hope that this video has been helpful. I know a lot of people are looking for love in 2019 and I am all about helping you bring more love into your life, starting with you bringing more love into who you are and what you want. And so until next time, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like and share and um, sending you lots of love. Until next time, bye.